The U.S. Army awarded a contract valued at $700 million to L3 Harris Technologies and its Team Lynx partners, led by American Rainmetal Vehicles ARV. The contract's purpose is to design and prototype the XM-30 mechanized infantry combat vehicle, which will replace the aging M2A3 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This award is part of the Army's top six development and modernization priorities, with the final contract expected to be granted in 2027. The XM-30 mechanized infantry combat vehicle aims to bring substantial improvements compared to its predecessor, the M2A3 Bradley. It is expected to deliver enhanced mobility, adaptability, lethality, agility, and safety features. The Lynx team, consisting of Textron Systems, Raytheon, Allison Transmission, and Enduro Industries, will play a crucial role in the development of this advanced combat vehicle, which is intended to replace the current Bradley IFV. Prior to this contract award, on June 26, 2023, the United States Army announced its approval of contracts with two firms, General Dynamics Land Systems and American Rainmetal Vehicles. These contracts are for the next phases of the optionally manned fighting vehicle OMFV, program, which has been rebranded as the XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle. The awarded contracts encompass phases 3 and 4 of the XM-30 program, which include detailed design, prototype build, and testing phases. The Army is eager to refine the XM-30 designs, validate prototype performance, and have its first units equipped with this modern combat vehicle by the year 2029. The XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle Program is a crucial part of the Army's future ground combat capabilities. The Lynx KF-41, proposed by American Rainmetal Vehicles and the likely foundation for the $700 million contract, offers a versatile combat vehicle that can be configured as an infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, armored personnel carrier, command vehicle, recovery vehicle, or ambulance. Its design includes a common drive module, flexible mission kit arrangement, manned turret with multiple armament options, modular protection systems, active protection system (APS), and advanced optronics for situational awareness. The Lynx KF-41's 850 kilowatts, 1140 horsepower Lieber engine enables a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour and a cruising range of 500 kilometers providing a robust platform for maneuverability in deployment over extended distances. The Lynx KF-41, along with the competing Griffin III, is designed with a focus on adaptability, offering various mission configurations to cater to the diverse operational requirements of the U.S. Army. The XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle, formerly known as the OMFV, is designed to replace the aging M-2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which has been in service since 1981. The Bradley IFV serves to transport infantry, provide fire support to dismounted troops, and destroy enemy fighting vehicles. However, it is widely considered to have reached its technological limits in accommodating new electronics, armor, and defensive systems. The XM-30 is a significant milestone for the Army as it is the first ground combat vehicle designed using modern, digital engineering tools and techniques. It follows a modular open systems architected MOSA, platform based on an Army-defined and owned open standard, allowing for the integration of emerging technologies as they mature. This approach aims to facilitate rapid OMFV modernization at a reduced cost and provide more opportunities for industry competition and innovation during upgrades. As the Army's infantry fighting vehicle, the XM-30 will maneuver through the enemy's security zone as part of a combined arms team. Its primary objectives are to establish a favorable position relative to the enemy, offer protection, deliver direct fire lethality while operated by personnel or remotely controlled, enable platoon level and higher command and control, engage and destroy enemy infantry fighting vehicles beyond the range of the enemy's primary weapon system, and enhance organizational effectiveness by reducing logistics burdens on the Armored Brigade Combat Team ABCT, through improved reliability, maintenance, and supply chain optimization. 
The XM30 OMFV program is focused on achieving specific capabilities to enhance the performance of the armored vehicles. One of the key objectives is to establish effective command and control at the platoon level and beyond. This entails rapid generation, reception, and transmission of information to improve coordination between dismounted units, other vehicles, and command nodes. Additionally, the program aims to increase the capacity to detect, engage, and neutralize enemy infantry fighting vehicles beyond the range of the enemy's primary weapon system compared to the actual M2A3 Bradley. It also aims to address dismounted enemy infantry threats promptly. Efforts are made to improve the overall effectiveness of the Armored Brigade Combat Team ABCT, by reducing the logistical burden. This is to be achieved through enhanced reliability and maintenance practices. The program emphasizes adaptability and future readiness by leaving room for growth margins. The XM913 offers multiple armament options, including a 50mm or 35mm automatic cannon, a coaxial machine gun, guided missiles, and machine guns. It incorporates modular protection systems, an active protection system, APS, and advanced optronics for enhanced situational awareness. The cannon prioritizes mobility and agility, with cutting-edge performance tailored to modern combat requirements. Ammunition options for the XM913 include the XM1204 High Explosive Air Bursting with Trace Round, which is programmable with three detonation modes. In point detonate mode, the projectile's high explosive detonates when it hits a target. In point detonate delay mode, the high explosive detonates a brief instant after hitting a target, intended to let the projectile first penetrate a wall and explode when it emerges on the other side. In air burst mode, the cannon's aiming system programs the munition to explode in the air above the target, allowing for versatile target engagement. The XM1203 Armor Piercing Fin Stabilized Discarding Sabo with Trace is designed to pierce armored vehicles. A light, Sabo, grips the barrel's rifling to ensure the shell receives the full power of the expanding gas. Tracer rounds, such as the XM1202 Target Practice Tracer Round, have a button of pyrotechnic chemical that leaves a trail to help a gunner observe the fall of the shot. While the current Bradley vehicle's 25mm cannon can hit targets at ranges of up to 2 km, about 1.2 miles, Northrop Grumman maintains that their XM913 has double the range of a 25mm gun, enabling it to hit targets up to 4 km away. The XM913 50mm cannon is being developed to support the Army's next-generation combat vehicle NGCV, program, one of several projects intended to replace the Bradley family of vehicles. The main gun could also potentially be used to increase lethality on other platforms.